Hello YouTube and today I'll show you how to control your iPod touch from your computer. Alright, let's get started. First things first, you need to open up Cydia. Let's wait for Cydia to load. Alright. Now once you get to the search box, type in Vinci, V-E-E-N-C-Y. And the first one that pops up, Vinci, it'll just say Vinci. You want to install that. I already have it installed, so I will not install it. But basically, you know how to install it, just install it. And then press the home button. We now need to set up our computer. Okay, now we need to install a VNC viewer for your host system, whether it's Ubuntu, Mac, uh, Windows. For Windows, I would get uh, Type VNC. Type VNC works very well with Windows. For Mac, I would get Chicken of the VNC, I think is what it's called. It's pretty good. Uh, but Ubuntu comes pre-installed with a pretty good VNC viewer. It's not the best, but it gets the job done. And that's under Internet and Remote Desktop Viewer. So once you have your VNC viewer installed, we can go back to the iPod uh, to finish up and yeah, connect. So... Bye. Alright, after we've got the VNC viewer for uh, your computer, now we need to open up settings. Go to Wi Fi and then press the arrow right beside your Wi Fi. You should now see your IP address. In my case, it's 192.168. Point one, point four. So what I'm going to do now is go back to settings and go to Vinci. All right, let me look for all right, and make sure it says enabled and show cur show cursor isn't necessary, but uh, enabled has to be enabled, of course. And you can it's optional if you want a password or not. You can if you want. You don't have to. I don't really cuz I don't feel the need to but now after you have VNC enabled we need to go back to your computer for the last time and view your iPod so bye okay what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect to my iPod touch so on my viewer it's different between depending on which viewer you use on my I'll just press connect and then protocol VNC Post 192.168.1.4. You can uncheck any of these if you want, but I'm just going to leave it to the default and leave it at that. Now, what I have to do is go into my iPod, and at the moment, it'll show either accept or reject using VNC. Uh, make sure you press accept so it works. And now it will pop up. As you can see, that is my iPod. And it is controlling it right now. I, as you can see, if I press the home button, it goes home. It's a little bit laggy, but it's definitely usable if you want to remote connect to somebody's iPod. So, there you go. There you have it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos. And bye.